Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Damlola and I am super duper happy to be back here again with another gist from the BB Ninja of Stars. Oh my god, recall that I spoke about Benita and Adekunle's basketballs. Yesterday, stroke this morning, they had an intense one, like a very nasty one. It was not a joke at all. I was not expecting it because knowing the kind of relationship these people share, they try as much as possible not to let people know about their differences, their you know, little little dragging, but yesterday own was god was mind-blowing. Um it all started from when Adekunle went to meet Benita to try to talk things out with Benita. And Benita was acting very defensive about the whole issue. And then before you know it, it escalated her to the point that Benita was shouting at Adekunle. Thank God Adekunle was not really confrontational with um, Benita. It wasn't really shouting. The Adekunle that I know, no ma no ma, go shout. But with Benita, it was calm, it was cool, it was chilled. I mean, I think I really respect Adekunle for, you know, the kind of maturity he was able to pull, you know, during the whole drama that happened thank god he was actually very mature and later on neo had to go and meet benita to calm her down to take her to the room to make her lie down to make her calm down benita cried 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 i cried oh my god now there was a part that actually really made me laugh guys after all their drama after all their you know their basketballs they are pull me i pull you and i'm like guys just settle up already settle up this show is going to end up pretty soon you cannot you you guys cannot do this to me settle up already and i saw angel i saw new i saw Pere. i'm actually shocked there oh my god i saw Pere. i saw suma and i saw adekunle inside the pink room you know clapping and singing a particular sweet lovely song for veneta hmm. it was actually very hilarious it was romantic it was sweet at the same time thank god for Suma. thank god for angel thank god for neil thank god for perry that came through for adekunle to be able to you know talk to um veneta again honestly it takes a lot for a man to you know come out of the shell to try to you know talk things out with a lady over and over again it shows how much adekunle really likes benita and i don't think adekunle is playing with benita in any way i don't think adekunle is um you know just doing this shit for the house i don't think adekunle is trying to do a strategy strategy thing because the fact that adekunle could calm down sing for benita with other people ensure that everything was right and then he went to the bed to sleep beside Benita eventually and this morning they were seen having breakfast together guys oh my god i'm actually very happy i really really admire adekunle's patience i admire adekunle's chilled i admire adekunle's chilled nature you know adekunle is one person that i feel like i really respect a lot it takes a lot to be like that kind of person trust me it's not easy it's not easy he's a gentleman adekunle is a gentleman and the entire needs to be better I love Benita, but she needs to do better because I mean, you were the one shouting at the Kunle, shouting and shouting and shouting, and this guy still came back to meet you after the first shouting. He still came back to meet you and then, you know, tried to talk to you and then slept on the same bed with you eventually. Even though a lot of people were saying, some people were saying that uh, the Kunle should not have, you know, sleep on the sofa in the first place. And I'm like, are you guys serious? Are you guys joking with me? You guys don't know that. There are some people that they just like to have a peaceful. You know peaceful life they love their mental health so much you're blaming adekunle for sleeping on the sofa are you kidding me right now if that is what is going to make his mental health be calm and fine and okay sleeping on the sofa is not a bad thing it's not a bad thing at all so i'm just very happy that they are now really cool they are okay and they are fine and moving forward i really hope that they would understand themselves better and try to figure things out before it gets so big like you know the last one that happened i really hope so and i hope that Benita comes down i hope she tries to also understand that they can lay. i just hope they understand themselves better and i wish them all the best of luck and hopefully they work outside the house because the show is about to end i really pray they work outside the house i really hope we can see the next bam bam and teddy or the next kathy and gadun i just wish them the best of luck i love adekunle and i love Benita a lot those two people they give me this, you know, this goosebumps. I just love them. 
okay since we are in the mood of love let's talk about soma and angel i've been saying that i would choose adenita over some gel but right now i don't even know you want to choose i think the both shapes are amazing they're actually very superb so my professed is loved for angel they're giving it to me right now like i'm really loving the both of them the fact that Soma actually came out to say i love you to um angel it takes a lot it takes a lot to actually use the word i love you to somebody that you've just been um will i say chilling with someone that's probably your comfort person <laughs> you know you know finally say i love you to the person i think Soma actually really, really really loves angel i don't know about angel but i think Soma really really loves angel i think i like the dynamics at which they are taking their relationship right now i think i really like it i think i'm loving it. it's not even like it. i think i'm loving it and i think i think they both know that they have partners outside the house so they have an understanding which is actually really cool they have an understanding i don't know about um i don't know if angel knows suma has a girlfriend but i know that suma knows that angel has a boyfriend outside the house she even mentioned the guy's name the guy's name is ayomide so i think they have some extent they have an understanding already so i really really respect them and admire them for that maybe you know they might even come outside of the house and even decide that they want to be together and forget about their past girlfriend or their past boyfriend you know or their whatever and i think ever since soma got a stripe soma has actually um grown in terms of the level of how to manage angel or how to cope with angel i think soma has really grown I think the fact that it always allow her to be, I think that actually really works for the both of them. And I think Angel too has some level of understanding for Soma. I think they've grown in that house. The two of them, they've actually really grown. And I think to some levels or to some extent, I think they're kind of compatible. They have a lot of things in common. I don't want to start mentioning them, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. They have a lot of things in common. And I just pray that they... They work out fine. But I wish them all the best of luck. That's what I can say. I wish them all the best of luck. And both Soma, Soma and Angel's ship and Adekunle and Venita's ship, they are all doing very well. It's not easy. You cannot actually really compare one relationship to the other. You can't do that. They are all doing fantastically well. That is like my my conclusion about these two ships. They are actually doing very, very well. What works for A might not work for B. What works for b might not work for a so i don't think comparing the two of them or comparing the two ships rather is a good thing i think they are just all good they are all good we've come to the end of today's video that's all i have guys but now many more to come do not forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and not post notification and tell me something about the comment section i love you guys see ya bye